I'm with you, yes. yes. That, that's the position uh, that, that's your position. As you yes. say. Okay. Yes. But the thing is, it's not about one minute or five minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. It's, but it's not about, it's not yeah, about, yes. if you believe in something that is wrong, it uh, doesn't mean that you're right. People believe in a lot of things that is wrong. Do you get uh, it? Your belief is, Quran is right. It doesn't mean that you're right. You uh, can just believe it, it doesn't mean you're right. But this is a thing, right? No, no, but the problem is here, you, as a Christian, yeah. you are coming and telling the Muslims what we believe, which the, uh, the Quran doesn't say. Hold on, hold on. No, no Muslim no. has ever understood the Quran this way. That way, exactly. Yes. I get it. I'm and the Quran doesn't that say way. that either. The yes. Quran didn't say what you're saying either. Uh -huh. But Quran never said Torah mm. is corrupted. Quran actually says it conf Quran confirms. Uh -huh. And the thing is this: yeah, the, the reason why it makes it this, it uh -huh. looks bad is this: uh -huh. if Allah knows that we have a corrupted book, uh -huh. and yes. He says yes. Quran confirms it. That means Allah is putting a stamp on it. No. Hold on, hold on. That's, that's, your, that's, that. that's your understanding. Hold on. My understanding is... The, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me give me a chance to talk, please. Okay. If, talk. if Allah says to yes. me, I confirm yeah. this book in their yes. hand, yes. my belief is uh -huh. this book is good. Uh -huh. If that's what Allah says to me, uh -huh. I will believe that's uncorruptible. Uh -huh. But if Allah knows that this book is corrupted, uh -huh. they will say this book that they have in their hand, I do not confirm it because it's corrupted. Uh -huh. That's what I will hear. That's what I will expect Allah to say. Uh -huh. But hold on. It continues, uh -huh. not just 89. Uh -huh. It continues in... You can come to that point. See, the thing is, when you are applying this understanding, yes. that the Quran is affirming and saying that this book is correct, okay? Then you have to put aside where it, the Quran mentions these people, they wrote a book with their own hands. He it it wasn't talking about Jewish people. He was talking about some people. It, no, he's talking about Jewish people. He's talking about Jewish people. He's talking about Jews, they distorted the book. But, but, yeah, I get it. It's talking, about, about, it's talking about the Jews, they distorted yeah. the book. Yeah. They twisted the, the book with their own uh, When they recited it, they twisted their tongues. And it's talking about woe to those who wrote the book with their own hands. That's, that's one. Then when we have the narration of Ibn Abbas. But why were you taking Ibn Abbas over Muhammad? We're, because the, here it's not taking one over the other. Okay. Ibn Abbas is explaining the Quran. He's not opposing the Quran. Yeah. He's not opposing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. Then for example, in the, the Quran, which is said, Muhammad and Ali, a judge over it. Yeah. There are numerous things in the Quran which refutes those things which are found in the first five books. I get it. Yes. And that's what we are saying to you. And yeah. on, on top of this, on yeah. top of this, on top of this, even if you look what biblical scholars have said today, yeah. even if you read the, the what is called the Old Testament today, there are so many places where you can see this is not from Moses. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's leave that one. Let, that, that's important. No, no, the reason, no, no. Uh, the reason what I'm uh, saying is this, yeah? Are, are you saying that the, the first reason, five no, no, books you have now is from Moses? The reason what I'm saying is this, I'm asking yeah? you that. that. That has nothing to do with corruption. Uh, of course. No, look. Hold on. No, that, this, that has nothing to do this, with corruption. This, this, this is the point. This is the point. Look, if the Quran is saying that we have sent down We have given Moses the book. If the Sunnah of the Prophet is saying that, that Moses was given the Torah, yeah. okay, and the Torah was revealed and sent down to Moses, okay, and then a person comes now, either in the time of the Prophet Muhammad or they come to Stratford in the 21st century and they say, what I have now is uncorrupted, pure revelation from Moses. Yeah then we can examine that book and we can see, for example, the first five books, which traditional, the traditional position of Judaism and Christianity is that Moses received these books and he wrote these books. See, the thing is, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I understand your Is that your position, that no. the first five books are from Moses? They are from Moses, yes. yes. That's okay. what I believe. Okay. Hold on. But if it, hold on, hold on. So if it can be, can you prove it's from Moses hold on, hold on. without the Quran? Without the Quran. Are you going to rely on the Quran to prove your I book? I rely on what Bible says. That's why I rely. Okay. The Bible says okay. it's Moses. Hold on. Hold okay. On. So show me. For, no. Then show me without the Quran that the the first five books which yeah. you have today yeah. are from Moses. That's what I just said to you. The Bible says. Yeah. Okay. Show it me says, where, where does it say that? That what? Most, because it was Moses that was talking inside it. Okay. Yeah. So just for example, the yeah. Book of Genesis. Are you saying that he wrote it down by himself? 
or is it the one talking in it? I don't know who wrote it. If, if, uh -huh. if he's sitting down, asking someone to write it down, or if he's the one that uses his hand no, no, to write the, it himself, I don't know. That's the, the, yeah. the Quran is talking about a book which was revealed okay, to let, Moses. Okay, I think this is where Kalam we're Allah, around. the speech of Allah. Okay, let's let's so, let's talk about this. Yeah, yeah. The book that you're talking about. Yeah. But the, my understanding is this: Allah gave the book, so it's yes. like it's already finished. The book yes. is already finished, uh -huh. and Allah gave it to him. Yes. That's your understanding. No. Is that's that your understanding? That's 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 what we know from the Quran, the Quran, the angel Gabriel came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Quran was recited to him. I know the, the Quran. The Quran was recited to him. Yes. And then, what he memor he memorized it, and then he would call his companions. They would write it down and they would memorize it. Okay. So this is the, this how the revelation came. As for the Torah, yes. The Quran. It, or the Sunnah doesn't go into detail, but it mentions it's, it's the speech of Allah, as the verse I said to you. Yes, Mu'una Kalamullah. They heard the speech of Allah, and also it mentions Walakad Atayna Musa al Kitab. We gave Musa Moses the book. Yeah, so, so, what's so your that, understanding? That's what's so, your understanding? So, about so the book our, our understanding you? is yeah. that Moses was given a book like this, a physical book like this. Either it was, it was recited to him. And he wrote it down, or the people around him wrote so it down. Not sure. No. Okay, good. Okay, listen, listen. listen. What about the Jesus Christ? Listen, in listen, listen, listen. The same. He the was same. given a book. But, oh, right. but the point, the point being, the point being, whether it was delivered as a book, yeah. or whether it was memorized by the prophet, or yeah. written down by the prophet, yeah. all of it, from beginning to end, is it the word is the word of God. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not their own words. Okay. Okay. So let's leave that. Yes. Way. So, so this is now. That's your understanding. That's our understanding. So, so my point is, the first five books you have today, uh, Genesis through to Deuteronomy, yeah. is an established fact that this cannot be traced back to Moses. Right, okay. Do you, so, you agree? I, I don't. I don't agree with you. But okay. The, so no, show me that it no, can no, be traced talking, back to no, Moses. We're talking about how Quran um, confirms what we have. So um, we're not going there. We can talk about but, are you, are, but I'm asking, are you relying on, are you relying on, relying upon the Quran to prove your book? No, I'm not proving my. No, no, uh, I'm saying yeah. what you said about our book. Yes. You are wrong because your book didn't say what you're saying so, about so, our book. So your book, are you saying that the book which you have today, the yes. first five books of yeah. the Bible, yeah. are you saying that you can trace this back to Moses? Yes, I'm saying it. You're saying you can. I'm saying that. And it hasn't been changed. It hasn't been changed. And it hasn't been changed. Well, well, when you say changed, I don't know what you mean by it's been changed. What do you mean? As in, it's uncorrupted. It is as it's it was sent down. Yeah, as as okay, far okay. as I know. Hold on, hold on. As okay. far as I know. Please, give me a chance to talk about the... What okay, I, I want you to prove that point. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. okay. So this is a thing, yeah? Yeah. I said Quran confirms what we have in our hand. Uh -huh. Which is, there's a book, physical book, said Torah, at the time of Muhammad. Uh -huh. Quran confirms it, but you said. No, the Quran negates it also. Hold on, hold on. The Quran negates it as well. In the 89, hold on. Hold on. As, 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 I, as I showed you, as I showed you, as, me, give no, me no. To I, get, I gave you one example where, example. where the Old Testament says that God rests. But no, because I'm showing you a clear example. Why do you explain yourself? Where, which I understand. You. Where God, yeah. where God, rested. Which is different from Bible. On the seventh day. Yeah. That's not in the Bible. Which is different to oh, you said God and, rested, and, the, and, the, Quran, and rest. the Quran mentions it, and it brings the truth, the truth of the so reality. This is what we said yeah. about Quran. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We said Quran yeah. is not from God. Uh, you know that's what we say, Christian. Of course, Quran, that's what Quran. you say. Yes. We said Quran is not from God. Uh -huh. We said Quran doesn't even know what Quran is saying. Uh -huh. It contradicts itself. Sometimes, no. hold on, hold on. I'm talking about Christian. You said uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. We said sometimes we say A, sometimes uh -huh. we say B. Uh -huh. That's our understanding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is a, this is the path of the uh -huh. reason why we say this. Yeah. Because Quran says it uh -huh. confirms what we have. Uh -huh. And this is not the funny thing. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. The problem is the no. The problem the problem is here is your understanding. The problem is the understanding you want to put in. What I find interesting. Let me finish, no, please. No, 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 no. Because I'm the, not trying to force my belief no on you. No problem. No. But you are speaking about the Quran, something which is false. You are putting your understanding in. The Quran itself is, is confirming that which is correct with which what you have. Okay. So, so for example. Yeah, okay. Are you going to give me a chance to? Is this, okay. Look. Simple. Simple. Yeah. Is the Quran confirming that God rested on the seventh day? Is the Quran negating that God rested on the seventh day? Yes. So therefore, the Quran is, is affirming that which is correct from your book. Or therefore, Quran is saying yes. rubbish. Huh? Or therefore, Quran is saying rubbish. Listen, listen, listen. listen. That's no, the no, no, another listen, way. Listen, listen, listen. listen. That's where we see it. Uh, no, Larry, listen, listen, listen. 
don't, don't, don't listen, 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 don't. Listen, honestly, honestly, honestly. Look. Me, I'll finish the conversation. Sorry? I will finish the conversation. Listen, look. If you want to come and say you don't agree with Islam, if you don't agree with the Prophet Muhammad, yeah. there's room for this. But if you want to say, use words like rubbish or something like this, no, okay. then the, the conversation's no, no, finished. No, I'm not trying to, I'm saying... No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I, I, I disagree with Christianity. Yeah. But I'm not, when I discuss it with you, I'm not going to use the word rubbish, Yeah, that's stupid. what I'm saying. Sorry, let me use okay. another word. Let me, okay. okay. probably... Uh, no, no, because the point is... Right, get it wrong. Let's say, let's no. do it that way. Let okay, you, that way. okay. Yeah. But here, a clear example. No, no, that's fine. A clear example. Yeah, I'm not worried about the camera, the time's gone, yeah? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, but uh, time's gone. So, you carry on, carry on. Well, just carry on. Oh, no, no. Okay, it's on the anyway. Fine, fine. So, the point being is when you say the Quran yeah. confirms the Torah. Yes. We are telling I didn't you, say that. Quran said it. No, no. Yes. But you're implying that this means it confirms everything which you have today. The Quran is confirming that which was, that which was sent down to Moses from what you have today. Okay. So, for example, when you're saying that the Quran confirms the Injil. Yeah. Okay. The Quran is clearly saying that Jesus is not God. Yeah. That whoever believes in the Trinity is a liar. Yeah. Um, that whoever believes that Jesus died on the cross, this is a false belief, etc. The Quran is affirming that uh, Jesus wa uh, mentioned the messenger to come after him. That Abraham mentioned the messenger to come after him. So this is what is be, what is being confirmed is that which is correct, yeah. and also is corrected. Mahaymin on Ali, a judge over it. Yes. But the point being, the point being is the the five books which you have today. Can you demonstrate them without using the Quran that what you have today is what Moses was given or what Moses had in his time up until this day? Right, let me tell you something. Yeah. yeah. If I can't prove yeah. what Moses had, yeah. but I can prove something, yeah. I can prove that what we had during the time of Muhammad yeah. is what Allah was talking about, uh -huh. right? Whatever we have, whatever we have that time, uh -huh. is what Allah was talking about. Whatever the way we were using, that's what Allah was addressing, yes or no? No. Okay. So when you said no, uh -huh. so is the one that Allah gave to uh, uh, Musa, was it yeah. corrupted? When it was sent down, yeah, it was no. Like, so that means it's what we have, uh -huh. what we had, or what we have. No. Hold on, that means what we have. Uh -huh. Allah is saying it's corrupted, according no, no. to you. No, because the point you're saying, the point the Christians are saying, or Orientalists are saying, that that the canon was set, and you have um, manuscripts that go back to the fourth century. Fourth century. So what you're saying is that when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu came in the seventh century, kind of there is confirming those manuscripts. Yes. Okay. That's what you're. Is that what you? Is that your that's that's your argument. That's my argument. That's your yeah. argument. But I'm saying what you have today, yeah. in the what we have today in the Bible, yes. which you believe it was the same as what was in the fourth century, fourth century. and what was in the in the time of the Prophet Muhammad yes. yeah. we can clearly show. That the difference is that this here now is a corrupted text. No, 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 no. And it wasn't. And Which one it, is corrupted? The fourth century one. The fourth century one. Okay, yeah. The seventh century one. Okay, and good. the the, tw the twenty first okay, century okay, good. one. We yes. have good understanding yes. now. So yes. you. So that's your belief that what they have. Is, I, I, will, I will show you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Genesis. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. No, hold on. Before you do anything, don't go into Bible. You, uh -huh. you just did something now that uh -huh. you didn't know. I will show you. Uh, uh, so now, the book that they had in 4th century, you believe that's the book that we have now, right? No, no, this is the Christian. I said this is the Christian claim. And I'm saying, yeah, do, do you believe it or not? With all the proofs, so you don't believe that? No, but what, what I'm saying is, the fourth century one. even what you have in the 4th century yes. is a corrupted text. I'm not talking about yes. what we have in 4th century. 4th century? Yeah. During the time of Muhammad, uh, do we still have it now? Whether it's corrupt or not, do we still have it now? See, what you have in the 4th century, it has books which you've taken out. We, but like we still have those books. It has, a, it has the Shepherd of Hermas. Extra, all those things. Yes. Yes. No, the Shepherd of Hermas. Yes. It has... Maccabee uh, or whatever, yes. Yes. But, but we still have them. You still have them. Yes. But, but we don't consider is, them anymore. As but the point is, even, but in the 4th century, what you had was still a corrupted text. I get it, what you're yes. saying. But what I'm saying, uh, whatever we have, 
can we still go back and check those things that we have and confirm if i need to confirm something from it can we confirm it if you want to co confirm something from the 21st century yeah. and you go back to the 4th century obviously there's going to be manuscript differences you're not getting let, let me finish let me finish there's going to be manuscript differences, differences yeah. but the point being what you have in the 4th century or the 1st century yeah. none of it can you affirm back to Jesus? None of, Jesus? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. None of it you're able to confirm back to David. Okay. And none of it you're able to confirm back to Moses. I agree that because it's, it's a, a corrupted book. No, no, it's, it's, this is a, it's not only a belief, yes. it's, it's based on evidence. I get what you're saying. Okay. I get what you're saying. For example, Deuteronomy. Please do not go there, go to of a place. Because so of what? That, no, no, because no, because of, it's an important no, point. No, 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 if if the book in the fourth century was corrupted, I want us to focus on uh, something. I'm not saying it's not corrupt. To you, I uh, get it. You said it's corrupted. I get it. No, so you're, you're, you're saying it's not. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay. But what I'm saying uh, is this. Uh, uh, Let's assume what you're saying. Yeah. You said it's corrupted. Yeah. I, I get your position. I said it's not. Uh, but what I'm saying, what we have that you consider corruptible yes. in that time. Yes. And to now, to now yeah. we have that time. We have Luke, right? Yes. We have John. Yes. We have Matthew. Yes. Okay, good. So at the time of my man, they have Matthew. They have John. We don't know what in the we don't know what the Christians had. We do. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. In the Christian world, in the Christian world, you have these books. Yes. But the Arabs, Christians. I don't, I'm not talking about Arabs. No, no, no. Okay. Because here, if you're talking about what they had in the Vatican. Yeah. Okay. Then we know, yes, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, yeah. they had this in the Vatican, yes. Yeah. But are you saying that all of the, the Christians had the same books and used the same books? Are, are you going to demonstrate it? That they have the same books? Yes. That's not what I said. So, so what, what I said is this, yes. listen to what I said again. So in the time of the Prophet Muhammad yes. sallallahu alayhi wa the Christians, when, when he came into contact with them, are you saying that they had 27 books with them and they called it the New Testament? Uh -huh. In the time of the Muhammad, yeah. they have uh, this kind of... Did they have the 27 they books have, of the New Testament? They have a Catholic Church at that uh -huh. time. No, no, not at, at that time, but I'm talking about in that place. In, I, I, in Medina. I, I, I don't know what they had in Medina. Okay, that's the point then. But this yeah. is not the point. Yeah. That is the point. So this is not where you're getting uh -huh. all, everything wrong. Uh -huh. When Allah was addressing, yes. he was addressing the people uh -huh. that they call themselves Jew, uh -huh. that they worship God, yes. that yes. Is Judaism, yes. that's a Judaism, yeah? yes. and it's addressing Christianity. Yes. So when Allah was addressing, he was addressing people that they believe in certain things. Yes. What do those people believe in? And those people are considered uh, Catholic Church at that time. They okay. are the one, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. They are okay. the one that have the canon. They are the one that decide, this uh -huh. is what we believe in. Uh -huh. Not so. Did they have groups. a canon at that time? Yes, they do have. Are you sure? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to, they have a, they have a, regardless, oh, even, no, 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 no regardless, because the point is what they had at that time, yes. the Quran refutes it as well. I get it, but yes. what I'm trying to say yes. to you is, those yes. things that they have, uh -huh. book of John, yes. we have, they have it during the time of Muhammad, because they already did it, pencil it, of it, exi it existed, it but existed. Did, did the Prophet Muhammad doesn't have it, or did the Arabs have it around him, or the Forget Christians, came, or, the Christians he, or the Christians he came in contact with? Whether they have it uh -huh. or not, yes. Allah addressed it, this is what I'm talking about, Allah knows best. Uh -huh. He knows more than me and you. No, no, Allah doesn't need no, to say no, no. This, this, this is this is you this is you putting something in. The point being, the point being is the Quran itself. Yes. It refutes the beliefs. I get it. Okay, listen, oh, yeah. listen. So I'm asking you the same question. Yes. The same question. Yes. Without trying to use the Quran from your own self. Can you affirm the first five books which you have? You're trying to, you're can trying to you run away from the No, 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 it's not running away. I've already agreed with you. Can they, let's say can it's corrupted. You, can, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Yeah, okay. I don't need to put okay. that anymore. I don't need so to put that to you anymore. So look, Genesis. Because you already believe it's corrupted. And I said, okay, fine. No, Genesis, verse 12. Yes. Sorry, chapter 12, verse 6. Yeah. Okay. Genesis, chapter 12, verse 6. Yeah. It mentions an, an Abraham. Abraham. Yes. Pass through the land unto the place of Siham or Sikam, unto the plain of Morah. And the Canaanite was then in the land. Okay. So the one who wrote this, he's saying that when Abraham traveled through this place, to this place, at that time, the Canaanites were still in the land. As you know, according to the Bible, the Canaanites were not removed from Jerusalem in this area 
until after Moses died in the time of Joshua. What Okay. In the time of Joshua. Okay. So the author who wrote Genesis 12 and 6, he's writing after the Canaanites were moved from the land. So this 12 and 6 was not written by Moses or in the time of Moses. It was written after. Okay. Okay. Genesis 14, 14. Let's see. Why are you still trying to prove that it's corrupt? You already said it's corrupt, right? Uh -huh. Why are you still trying to prove that? Okay. I've already agreed with you that, according to you, Let me finish. No, no, it's corrupt. I, listen, according listen, no, 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 no. I, you have acknowledged, according to me, according to the Muslims, it's corrupt. Yes. We've acknowledged that. Yes. But I'm showing you, according to the book itself, okay. it's corrupt. All right. I don't okay. have an answer for you on this one. So, can we so this one? Genesis 14, 14. And when Abra, uh, Abraham heard that his brother, he is refusing to Lot, was taken captive. He armed his trained servants, born in, in his house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. So Abraham, or Abraham, he was called at the time, according to the Bible, he pursued these people who were taken.